Anthony! What's up? What are we eating? Uh, acai bowl. Pretty good. Is this the soccer player's uh, pre-game meal? Because you got a game tonight against who? Uh, yeah, we play College of Charleston tonight. Um, usually, typically, like to get a smoothie on game days, but just happen to be downtown. So, so give like us a fix. What's in this? Bananas, uh, coconuts, blueberries, uh, almonds, pecans. Um, but it's pretty good. Okay, well, first of all, congratulations. Took over the starting goalkeeper job how many games ago? Uh, four games ago. Okay, after sitting for a year? Four years. Four years yep. sitting down. I mean, when your name gets called and you've been waiting for that long, it's like you just go in. It wasn't until after the game that I kind of realized that I was actually playing in um, a game for NC State. My parents were in the stands and so was my grandmother. Uh, she's never seen me play soccer at all my whole life. Um, she's 91 years old, she's had cancer three times. So to have her in the stands, uh, I ran up to her right after the game, gave her a big hug, and we just kind of sunk in the moment. Um, and that's kind of the mentality I've had for the past four years was you never know what could happen. It could change in the blink of an eye, and quite literally it did. Um, so nothing changed for me. I just went about it the same way, like it was just any other game, like it was a practice. Um, super relaxed, composed. Um, I trusted the people in front of me and hoped that they trust me back, and I think, you know, that they did. I'd like to say that I play simple, and uh, like Coach Kiefer said, just keep the ball out of the net no matter how it happens. So that's, that's my goal, obviously. <laughs> Do keepers work harder than most field players, <laughs> physically? That's a, that's a trick question. Very You're much. Let's get the honest <laughs> truth here. Do um, you guys work more? I think we work the same. Oh, in so level diplomatic. Of, Politician. Of, uh, you know, how much energy we put into the sessions. We're training you know, more plyometric, getting off the ground, jumping, all this stuff. So our conditioning is completely different, but I'd say that the level of input that we both put in is equal. How do you deal with sort of that, that, that waiting game? It's a little bit different for a keeper, and I always wonder about that. If you two or three or four, you're almost kind of waiting for an unfortunate situation. Or you, you're waiting for your best friend to fail. How do you, how do you deal with that? I don't think it's the same for it's, field play. It's not. No, it's not. I mean, that's the, the crappy thing about being a keeper is only one kid plays. You can't be a right back and say, oh, we need you playing left back. You're a keeper, you're going to play keeper, right? Um, and I think, especially with our group of keepers that we have at NC State, we're so close that the four is always constantly pushing the three, the three is constantly pushing the two, the two is constantly pushing the one. And it's a cycle of that. You don't hope for an unfortunate circumstance. You hope that the way you get into a game is by beating out the person in front of you. Um, but when something unfortunate does happen, you have to be ready and trust yourself. Your number of your role might change, but the way you go about your business has to be the same. And I think that with our group here that we have, uh, I mean, I haven't noticed any difference. Um, I think people have stepped up even more. And uh, I think that's, that's really a cool quality to have. Um, so yeah, NC State soccer has been special. One of the best places to play in the whole country. We have an incredible supporters group called the Red Terrors and they make every home game the most amazing atmosphere you can have for a college soccer player. Um, so I'm super excited for what we're going to do this year. We have big ambitions, big goals for this team and to be a